and welcome back to ArchiCAD. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to prepare drawings and have get them ready to publish. So builders or the council or um, permit makers can read and understand dimensions and see the plans that are being built. It's all well and good to build on to design a house on the computer, but they still need to be published so they can be taken to the work site and built, be used for building. Um, for this example, the first thing we're going to do is get rid of everything that is not needed by builders. Uh, the first thing for this example, we will remove the mesh. So you can right click on this and remove this layer, hide the layer. And the same with all our furniture. We can leave our fixed furniture, but let's get rid of all of our loose furniture. So oh, not that. click on one piece and hide the layer. And it will hide all the furniture that was in that layer. Oh, that was in a different layer, so you can hide that. And that's, there we go. It's removed everything except our fixed furniture, which we want to keep. Uh, there we go. Okay, now we need to, the first thing we're going to do is explore our elevation lines. We have a north, south, east and west elevation line, which are these things here. Um, these ones need to be renamed. So I've already renamed the north, the north one up here. As you can see it's been renamed to north. This one's been renamed to east. We're going to rename this one to south. So right click it. Sorry, we don't right click it, we we hover, that's at number three. We rename it over here, rename. So we'll make this one south. And number four will be this one. Yep, and that's west. Lovely. Okay, so now we come down here. Now these elevations, you can see this one, for example, the south stretches from here all the way to here. So we're going to view, when we click on the south one, we're going to view the whole stretch, which is too much. We don't need to view all of this, so we're going to cut it back. So we're going to click on this, and we're going to select our the stretch mode. And we're going to shrink it at both ends by clicking and dragging, shrink it. So it's just the width of the house. So now we look at the south and there, and it's just all we need, nothing more. And I'm also gonna move it up closer. So it's just there. And we're gonna do the same for all of them, so. First thing we can do is stretch it. And then we can move it. Stretch it or shrink it like so. And the last one, stretch to there, stretch to there, and then we'll move it. Let me bring this one down there too, like so. Beautiful. Um, we can also have a play around with these two, our section, 
have an S1 and S2. This one is our S1. We can move this one and bring it through so we can cut part of our house maybe there, for example. It's going to be the same thing. Let's shrink this one and shrink it to here. You can see this sectional is going to be a view facing this direction to the west and cutting through the house at this point. So uh, we can look at it like so. There we are. And the other sectional marker I think is this one here. Yep, S2 there. Oh, no, yeah, that's S2. And uh, this one also needs a shrinking shrink it up to here. So that's one we we're just looking at. S2. Yep, and our S1 is the first one we did, moved and that shows another section of our house. Right. Perfect. So that's all good. Now we need to what we're gonna do is we need to move this onto a plan. So up here we can move to our navigational side. We've spent our whole project working on this one on our project map. Now we're going to go two to the right, which is this is called our layout book. Select our layout book. Um, just click on the very top one, cottage tutorial. There might be more open up here, but that doesn't matter. Go to cottage tutorial and come down here and click new layout. And I want you to name this uh, your name or your surname. A1 landscape, correct, and click create. And if you zoom out, this is our plan document. You can see it opens up here. And the first thing you need to do is make sure it's double clicked and make sure it's highlighted. Now, the f let's go back to our 2D mode this boy. I'm going to right click. I'm going to come down and save view and place on layout. Save view, place on the layout. Now because we had the, this double highlighted here, it's automatically gone to this folder so it knows that's what we want. So I'm going to come over here and, and click and insert. And the first thing we can do is shrink this. So it's just around what we need. And now we can move it just with the move tool, move it to the center, like so. Yeah, it's pretty centered. Lovely. Okay, now what we can also do is we can insert our elevation views as well in here. Um, here we have our south elevation, so we'll go to our south up here in this tab, right click, do the same thing, S save view and place on the layout, this is south elevation, so we want to put this in the south, down here, there we go, and the same thing, let's shrink this, select, make sure we have the shrinking option, shrink it down, just like so. Nice and close to the building. Just a little bit under here is just the description of what this elevation is. If you zoom in, there you see, south elevation. And now we'll move it. And we'll try and move it as best in line as we can with, yeah, let's keep it down here. Like that. Very nice. Now we can do move all the way around. So to get to our other ones, let's go back here. Let's get our north elevation. Right click on it, save. It automatically comes back to it. This document. Same deal. 
shrink it on all the sides. And now move it. And put it somewhere above our north elevation, like so. Back to our here, we want our east elevation. Right, oh. right click, save and begin this layout over here to our east, which makes sense. Go to some shrinking up nice and close once again. elevation somewhere here and finally our west elevation right click save in place and send it over here slightly tedious but it's fairly fast to do this our east elevation and now we have two more that we can insert here we have our sections so uh, seeing as we've lined tried to line these up northeast south and west we'll go to our sectionals we we'll used to do the same thing and we'll place our sectionals just down in these corners there we go look at that that's already been just it so we gotta do is move that one uh, number two same thing put this one over here uh, he's already been modified as well which is nice move him over here and there you have it there's our plans have been designed are ready to be published like so you can play around if you like with things down here you can write your name there's the name of our project which is by Jackson Cottage change the name if you like you can write who it's drawn by if you feel free you can replace the logo if you want to make a logo up but that's what we need that's what that's where we're at now we want to save this um, differently so Come up to File and come to Save As. And then we need to make sure that when we save this, I will choose a location first. I'm just going to put it on my desktop. And our format. Here we are. Here's our format. We want to save this as a PDF file. So you come down, select PDF file, and click Save. Okay, and just to be sure, we'll come on to my, oh, there's a lot here, where's that gone? I can't see it. Where's that gone? Here we are. Got a tutorial PDF. And you can see, there we are. There's our plan that you could be print that could be printed out. It's in PDF, which means that when you zoom in, it doesn't pixelate, it all stays in focus, which is fantastic. And we can see all of our dimensions, everything we need. We can understand we have our elevations, our four elevations. They all, we can look at this one as our east elevation here. And we come over there and there it is. So we can follow and learn how to read these plans. And architects and builders can use these. And there we go.